I'm gonna talk about Janelle Monet, the actress and singer who has such an issue with hip hop. Okay, she talks about the misogyny and how they disrespect women and say this and that and the third. I, you know, I've even said that. But there are a lot of women who like that type of music. That's why these guys keep making the music. Okay, these women be dancing in these with uh, to this music on their Instagram videos. They dance to this to this music on on other social media platforms. But here you have Janelle Monae who's coming out and saying that basically we need to cancel hip hop, male hip hop. Uh, she's saying that men, the male rappers are to blame for why women are portrayed, black women are portrayed the way that they are portrayed. And she wants black women to come together and stand against the misogyny of hip hop. They talk about how the music that is made perpetuates patriarchy, okay? But that's not all, because she went on a series of tweets uh, in a tweet rant, and she did a lot of tweeting. Now, what Janelle Monet doesn't understand, maybe she's in Hollywood a little too much, is that you have artists like Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. You know what they all have in common? Not only are they female rappers, but they are female rappers that portray the worst stereotypes of, I would say, black women. Even you know, even though I wouldn't necessarily put Cardi in it, but I'm gonna put it in for the sake of this video. Most of these female rappers do. So how are you gonna blame the male artists for the for Meg Thee Stallion? How are you gonna blame these male rappers for Cardi B? Are the male rappers buying the music? How are you gonna blame them for Nicki Minaj? I mean, did y'all see the Trolls video? I mean, I, I saw like little clips of it, but I didn't see the whole video. But I mean, look how Nicki is dressed in the video. But you wanna blame the male rappers. You know what, this is too little too late. You see, we are in an age where everybody's looking to cancel something else. Uh, they're looking to take down patriarchy. They're looking to gain more power in our society. They're looking to denigrate masculinity. What these women like Janelle Monet and her community, because trust and believe, she fit, her community is the alphabet community. It ain't the black black community. She's black female first and only. <laughs> and when I mean female, I mean female only. You know, but. It's hypocritical because then in, in the same tweet, she's talking about how her and her girls still dance to the music. So if you and your girls still dance to the music, you still sing or rap to the music, why are you trying to cancel it? Because you're not gonna be able to cancel it if you like it. That's just like saying a woman is gonna automatically stop dating the men that she's used to dating. That she's just gonna stop cold turkey and just not focus on dealing with them anymore. That's hard for a lot of women to do because a lot of women are very picky about the type of men they deal with. Let's just be real. They want a certain type of guy and if you're not that guy, they're not gonna deal with you. They don't care how many times they continue to get hurt. So do y'all not see the, the uh, confusion that is there? She's talking about how women are being denigrated in rap music and it needs to be abolished. I absolutely agree. There are women who are being uh, uh, they're being, you know, very much so disrespected in rap music and in, in, in rap culture. But the women embrace it. That's why these guys make the music. Because look at the twerk music. You don't think that's denigrating to women, but you see them twerking to it. Go to the clubs. Who's dancing to the rap music? And she wants to bring up patriarchy and how, and she brought religion into it. She talked about how. Religion is also used to bring women down. You know what women like Janelle Monet, they have a lot of uh, Dizic envy. They have a lot of Dizic envy. And because they have a lot of Dizic envy, they want to dismantle anything masculine that isn't them. You know, even though you have women who walk around trying to look like men, trying to be men, you want to dismantle what is masculinity. What she has to understand is the reason why men are able to have more control in society is because they built society. Women didn't build it. They didn't. Women are not builders. 
women occupy the spaces once it's built but they don't do any building this is why they don't have the power in society if you want to go there so if you want to dismantle something dismantle that mental condition that you and these other women have to dance to music that denigrates you dismantle that first now she wants to talk about misogyny and entertainment boardrooms the white house households corporate spaces the army church uh she want to talk about how all these spaces women are being denigrated have you seen the black community what men are oppressing black women in the black community let's talk about denigration because she brought the church up which I'm, I'm pretty sure won her a lot of fans because black women love the church and they support the church and they financially fund the church so as long as those things are happening it's going to continue to operate because a lot of those men that you're trying to denigrate a lot of those men ain't keeping that church afloat they're not and you got you got again this is what we have to deal with as men nowadays we have these feminist minded women that want to destroy us they want puppets they want men who will do whatever they tell them they have a lot of envy they want to be us this is why they have they want to dismantle anything masculine they want to take down statues okay they want to get rid of independent thought they want to you know basically effeminize most men because they want to feel masculine they want to feel like the men but they'll never be that and it and it bothers them it angers them this is why you dance and rap to music that you claim is denigrating you but you want to go on a twitter rant you want to go on that twitter rant because at when you're done dancing and singing to that music you realize janelle that you're just like all those other women that you may think are weak that you may think are you know not strong enough that let men say and do whatever to them you're just like those women that's why you're going on these twitter rants and you basically expose your own hypocrisy at the same token if you want to dismantle something janelle we need to dismantle this mental illness that we have in the, in the community of supporting people who won't look like us we can say whatever we want about caucasian people but at the end of the day we're still supporting them we are still buying stuff out of their stores you got the women who are still going to their nail shops still going to their hair show hair stores you're making these people money even though they have no respect for you but then you want to look at us like we're the bad guys the the, the, the community has been disintegrated it, it, there's no fixing it you can't fix this mess all you can do is get around like-minded people and look to create and build with each other that's the best hope we have to save what little we still have but you have people literally losing their minds you have people out here who think that because they go and destroy their own businesses in their own communities that that's leadership that they're taking power back you're not taking anything back unless you have strong male leadership now when it comes to music the music industry has been like it is for a long time janelle even before you got into it and you knew that the only listen you can't the only way you're going to be able to stop what's going on is if the women decide to stop supporting these rappers that's not going to happen it's not going to happen most of these rappers fans are, are a lot of are mostly women anyway you know there are a lot of there are women following these guys on social media go look at the comment sections these women trying to sleep with these guys even though they make music that you claim are denigrating them okay so why are those women trying to get with them in the first place I think Janelle doesn't understand the mindset of most women these days. What's good is bad and what's bad is good for most women. This is why they're in relationships that fail and they don't seem to care as long as they're getting theirs, as long as they feel good about who they're with, as long as they're with a guy who gets a lot of attention from other women. Now with this Twitter rant, the one thing it shows me is that she has a problem with men which is you can tell by this twitter rant that she she definitely doesn't deal with men in a relate in a in a romantic sense whatsoever 
looking at this this Twitter rant, you could just tell she just does not like men. She has an issue with men. I don't know if it stems from, you know, her background. Maybe it does, but there's some there's some issues there. There's some underlying issues there. And you can tell because she's talking about misogyny, misogyny, misogyny. Okay, who's being misogynist towards you? You're you're a singer, you're an actress. Who's holding you back? You're getting roles that people may not think you should be getting. Okay? So who's oppressing you? Nobody's oppressing you. What it is is that you have you have females like her who have envy. They envy men. They envy masculinity. They envy the fact that we can go around smashing chicks, you know, you know, living in you know, living a life the way we want to. We can walk around with our shirt off. You know what I'm saying? We can do whatever we want to do. They want to be able to do the same thing. They want to be able to grow facial hair. They want to be able to be a symbol of leadership and a symbol of masculinity. They want that, but they'll never be that. And it upsets them. So they go with this, oh, you're being disrespectful to women. Let me tell you something. Those women that you think you're caping for, they don't care whether the music is denigrating them or not they're still going to buy it they're still going to listen to it they're still going to rap to it there's nothing you can do about it you you're showing more respect for these women than they show for themselves you know Floyd Mayweather put up a post about how you know us as men you know are we showing these women basically um more respect than you know they respect themselves and well that's I'm just you know I'm just accurate but it was close to it and I think Janelle is underestimating the fact that a lot of them chicks that she thinks that she's defending actually like that type of music. They like when dudes call them bees and, you know, garden tools. And I think that she is not giving that enough credit. The fact that these women actually understand what's going on, they really don't even care.